Hey everybody, welcome back to Avid Max here on YouTube. Today we're gonna to talk about 10 underrated, or as the kids like to say, slept on items, all under $50. So these are items that you probably haven't given much thought to. Um, you might not have considered them super useful, uh, but then once you do have them, they make your life on the water or otherwise a lot better, a lot more enjoyable, and they're definitely worth the, the cost, especially for these items that are all under 50 bucks. So let's get started. The first item that I'd like to talk about is the Fish Pond Lip Balm. And this is SPF 15 chapstick, basically. Uh, they've partnered up with Joshua Tree um, Skin Care, and they're an industry leader of organic skin care. So nothing harmful in here. It's only good for you. Uh, if there's something that I always am kind of beating myself up about at the end of a day fishing is that I didn't uh, do a better job with sunscreen and that I didn't do a better job with chapstick in particular. Um, so having this, um, actually using it and not just letting it sit there is incredibly valuable for making it so that when uh, you're headed home after a day on the water you're not feeling like your lips are as dry as the Sahara and it's painful and sunburnt and then you know you look all uh, purple lipped when you go out to dinner or for a drink later so take care of yourself enjoy the fishing but also you know skincare is pretty important if you want to be in this game for a long time um, protects you from getting skin cancer it's a pretty serious thing fishing is fun but uh, make it safe with some lip balm. The next item that I want to talk about is the Scientific Angler's uh, hand towel. Uh, this is great for a lot of different reasons. Um, I'll tell you kind of my favorite uses is definitely for being on the boat. Um, I take this included ring and you wrap the towel around a piece of your frame and you can pull it through. You could also just undo the clip and clip it around or whatever your preferred attachment method is. Um, but say that was my boat frame and I'm rowing along, this hangs off the frame. I can be rowing, just quickly dry my hands off and I'm good to go. This is especially nice in colder weather. Uh, the longer that your hands are uh, wet in any way, uh, that's gonna help kind of move your heat away faster. So if you can keep your hands dry, you're gonna keep your hands a little bit warmer in turn. So uh, it's great for that, it's great really for all year round you know there's there's no reason not to have a towel to keep your hands dry all seasons even if you're not trying to just keep your hands warm it's good to just keep them clean and dry you're handling fly line um, fly line is an investment in a lot of cases so if you've got you know leftover mustard from the sandwich you had at lunch you know rinse your hand off dry them off get them clean and continue fishing and enjoying your day Super simple item, uh, it's great, it looks great, it has a banana on it. I don't know what your feelings are about having bananas on the boat. I think it's hilarious and it has not adversely affected my fishing at all in the time that I've been using this hand towel and it's $9.95, uh, the Scientific Angler's hand towel. Moving right along, I wanna talk about the Tiemco Shimizaki Dry Shake Spray. Now, I think that you should carry a lot of different floatants. I'm not saying that this is the one to rule them all. I think it's good to have a variety for different rigs and situations and um, different presentations that you're trying to achieve. Uh, but this is a really effective, user-friendly one. It's gonna have your dry flies floating like new. It's $32.99. Um, it throws kind of a wide cone on there. So um, if you're concerned about the wasted spray from just hitting one fly, I've kind of heard a technique where you might take an old beater fly box, put all your dry flies in there that you would want to hit with this, do that ahead of time, and then put them in their you know desired end location um, to go hit the water. So really effective product, super easy to use, works great. The Shimizaki Dry Shake Spray. The next product I want to talk about is the Large Loon Combo Caddy. Uh, this is a floating caddy for any half ounce and two ounce bottle, so you can keep your gel down here and your dry shake up here. The reason that I like it, it's only $11 and it's going to encourage you to do the right thing on the water. And what I mean by that is if you're making repeated dry fly drifts and you start to drag or you know not ride high even in the slightest, every subsequent cast that you make not getting a good drift you're just putting that fish down the chances of you getting that fish to eat are just becoming a fraction of a fraction so uh, have your floating at the ready it's easy to do this clips to any pack vest piece of your waders whatever it is um, you can put any preferred floating in there it doesn't necessarily have to be a loon product it's a half ounce bottle and a two ounce bottle so you can do your gel and your shake and you know be ready to fish dry flies effectively with this guy Here's another product that I love coming in at $45. This is the Patagonia Ulex Wading Socks with a gravel guard. 
Uh, this is something that I avoided for quite a long time. I was kind of a sandal guy, and then I had some pretty painful experiences with sticks kind of working its way between the bottom of my foot and that uh, sandal sole. So having full coverage up and above your ankle is really important, as well as having dedicated wet traction built wading boots. So using a thing that was intended to be um, really sturdy walking around on submerged rocks and snotty things, that is crucial to having a safe, enjoyable experience out on the water. So if you've never tried taking a wet wading sock and wearing your actual wading boot with say some quick drying pants or shorts, it's gonna keep the sun off you. It's way more comfortable for wading. It's way more comfortable out on a boat where you're not gonna be wading down to your, you know, your waist or above. Um, if you can get away with doing that, it's a much more enjoyable experience in my opinion. I would highly recommend trying it. You're gonna have a better time than trying to fumble around with sandals or whatever you're using and it's gonna be way more comfortable than wearing waders on a 90 degree day. 45 bucks, the Ulex wading socks with a gravel guard. Whether you call them a PO pod, a PIO pod, or those little fish pond trash can thingies, the large mouth version uh, is really invaluable, I found, from boat situations to especially in your vehicles. Now, I know this is not directly fly fishing related, um, but if you've already got the small one or you've seen the small one, um, you know you know how useful these things are. The large mouth version, this is perfect for putting into a cup holder or the console of a vehicle. Um, we all know that we're headed home from the river, stuffing our face with snacks or um, you know, taking apart different leader rigs and have a bunch of leftover tippet or trash or whatever that we've collected throughout the day. This thing is the perfect receptacle for that. Don't just throw it in the bed of the truck. Don't just throw it on the ground and don't just leave it loose in a pack or somewhere. You're gonna have to deal with it later. So deal with it the right way. It's so quick and easy. This is 1995. Um, it works great. I cannot believe that I existed without this in my truck beforehand and I use the crap out of this thing. Highly recommend it. There's steelhead blue, there's cutthroat orange. They work great, it's under $20. And uh, yeah, the PO pod, PIO pod, little fish pond trash can thingy. Next up, Scientific Angler's Micro Swivels. These come in at $9.95. There's 10 of them in there. You do the math. It's an incredible value. Uh, there's different sizes available. I'm using the larger ones just for some demonstration purposes. You can see them. Uh, the smaller sizes come in a little clear tin. Um, so you can just open that up and you know use it as you see fit and then have it in its own designated area without the packaging. Um, and there's some obvious uses like uh, streamers and larger flies, some predator setups, um, using it in conjunction with a poly leader or a tip. So that way, you know, that leader coming off of there has a hard connection point and you're not chewing into it over the course of the day or however long you fish it. Um, you've taken the time to build those setups get more life out of it by using one of these guys and you can cut off and change tippet and flies at a hard connection point and not shorten the length of your leader at all. Um, I really like the smaller sizes for building a deep uh, indicator nymphing setup as well. Um, that makes it so that everything underneath the indicator has move, uh, room to move around independently and, and kind of go with the flow, so to speak. Um, but again, keeps me from chewing into it. If I do break off, I have a hard connection point that I can easily tie off of. 995. Super useful for a lot of different applications. Um, some people turn their noses up at these and think that it's too close to conventional or gear fishing, um, but if it helps you out and the fish don't care, I say why not. So great product, micro swivels. The Patagonia Stealth Workstation is $49 and this thing is awesome. Uh, it's super feature rich. I could really dive into it. I'll try to keep it short for you. So a lot of different technical fabrics here. You've got stretch pockets, gear loops, Velcro, magnets, zippered pockets, um, tons of different attachment points for rigging this. Uh, here's kind of the scenario that I've been really liking uh, with this pack in the past couple of weeks is now say I'm rowing, I have this in my boat bag, that's already saving me a bunch of space because I've eliminated a couple other uh, compartment boxes where I have leaders, poly leaders, split shot, indicators, small fly boxes, you know, floating, uh, hemostats, whatever, you name it. It all fits in here uh, incredibly e easily. Um, there's so many storage kind of solutions even on this small profile. So that fits into the boat bag, saving me a bunch of space. 
I can take it out and rig while I'm rowing and, and, and save time that way by having everything in one location. And then if I park, I can go wade fish a run by putting this on my wading belt. I can put it on the front of my waders here like a small chest pack. And then if I come back to the boat and switch rowers and I'm up on the front uh, fishing, I can then lash this to the frame and I have everything I need to fish right there in front of me for only $49. Why wouldn't you get one of these things? It's so incredibly useful. It comes in ink black, noble gray, and there's a new sage khaki color as well. The Stealth Waiter Workstation. Ranging from $12.95 to $19.95, we have the small, medium, and large fish pond sandbar travel pouch. So many different uses for these things. It's a clear uh, mesh laminated uh, pack. It's splash proof. Uh, it's got a zipper compartment on there, a few different attachment points if you wanna rig it in any sort of way or just keep it secure. Um, between the different sizes here, you have options that'd be great for toiletries. You have options that'd be great for building out a med kit for your dry bag or something like that if you're going on a trip um, where you wanna bring that sort of thing. Or just, um, you know, if it's even non-fishing travel related, you could take the large one here, put socks and underwear in, the, in that one, and then rain gear in this other one. Or, uh, you know, if it's a fishing pack, you could load up some extra tippet tools and accessories, maybe some backup gear. Um, you could take one of these and make kind of a fall-in bag if you're fishing in cold weather. Um, take some kind of warmer base layers or dry clothing and put it in there, and you're good to go. So really useful, really affordable. It's the uh, Fish Pond Sandbar Travel Pouch. And uh, yeah, small, medium, and large. So it's something for everybody and whatever your needs are. If you want to fish every part of the water column and every type of water, check out the Airflow Poly Leaders. I've been using the same 10 foot, uh, seven inch per second poly leader for over six or seven years now. And I've used it for trout. I've used it for stripers. I've used it for pike. I've used it for salmon steelhead situations. Um, and it has kind of made carrying extra spools and extra lines obsolete for me. This is a $14 item. You have five foot, eight foot, and 10 foot lengths. You have a variety of different sink rates from float, hover, intermediate, slow sink, fast sync, extra fast, super fast. There's tons of different options. Um, Airflow, the technology with these things has really come such a long way um, that it's got great energy transfer, good coatings and taper and core. So you're getting good turnover all the way from your fly line through the leader into that fly. You're gonna cover all sorts of water and be prepared for any type of fishing situation. If you just get a leader wallet, pick out two or three of your favorite sink rates of these. Um, you can even buy a kit. Uh, I believe it's around $80. You can get a trout poly leader set. There's also a salmon steelhead poly leader set with some different cores available. Um, super easy product to just add to your kit. You're gonna use the crap out of this thing and it's gonna make you a better angler for just adapting to what the water is telling you. Fish every part of the water column check out some poly leaders. All right, so that covers my list for this time around. These are 10 items that are kind of underrated, kind of slept on, and they're gonna enhance your day on the water, and they're all under 50 bucks. Now, it wouldn't be complete without a couple of honorable mentions, though. Um, I highly recommend that you get yourself a backup pair of cheap, polarized sunglasses. There's tons of options out there that are under $50. If yours fall in, break, your buddy needs a pair, whatever the case may be, having those in the truck or in your pack or something is gonna be invaluable when you're out there on the water. I also really like the Fish Pond Lariat gear straps. This is another cheap item, super useful for all sorts of things, fly fishing or otherwise. If you're familiar with volet straps, very similar product there. Uh, and if you know how incredibly useful those are, then these do the same thing. Making um, rod tube holsters, great for travel, great for lashing, th lashing things to a boat frame or something like that. Making your own water bottle holster, whatever it is, those things work great. Um, and then another one that I have for you is the lineup of Pescador fly boxes from Fish Pond. That whole series is really killer. If you're looking to kind of clean up your overall fly box profile and have one line of, of fly boxes, that whole Pescador series has some great options um, coming in at kind of around or under $50 for, for the most part on, on, some, on those boxes. So great solutions for fly storage. And then uh, another one I like is the Rep Your Water Old Fashioned Glass. Now there's a couple different designs and styles depending on what your preferred artwork is. Um, but a great way to top off a day fishing is to make yourself a drink. So those are kind of my honorable mentions. Uh, I hope you found this list useful. I hope that you get some of these items and enjoy them out on the water and just find little solutions for enhancing your experience out there. So until next time, this is Steve signing off.